Now, therefore, be it resolved that this Honorable House recommends that Ms. Dorothy Bradley be appointed to act as Auditor General for a period of two years with effect for the first day of September 2022. This motion has a recommendation of the Cabinet. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as you all know, the, um, Ms. Dorothy Bradley has been an exemplary public officer and has done, again, an exceedingly good job while she was the Auditor General. And the time came for, for, for her retirement. And um, since then, we've been trying to, to find the, we believe, the appropriate person to, 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 um, to take over the position. But it was a general consensus that it would be best to bring her, um, offer another two-year contract um, so that then she can then take those two years to continue the work of the Auditor General, but at the same time to prepare a smooth transition to finding um, or to um, training within its staff, um, somebody that can take over the post of Auditor General. I urge both sides of the House to, um, to support this, um, this appointment, um, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, I have to point out to the Honorable House and to Belizeans that the President of the Public Service Union vehemently objects to Ms. Bradley being given another a contract on the basis that there are many qualified public officers that can assume that position and qualified Belizeans outside of the public service and further the president of the PSU does not paint the picture that the prime minister paints. In fact, he says that Mrs. Bradley's tenure was filled with grievances and that she did a terrible job as Auditor General. And there are many outstanding grievances from her time that disenfranchised public officers. So the opposition cannot support this. I believe this is a lazy approach by the government. Buckle down, find a suitable Auditor General and proceed.